Hey everyone, um, today we're going to do something that uh, I got a request on, and it's um, a bucktail jig, but we're going to do a walleye pattern. Um, once you tie a bucktail, they're pretty much all the same, um, but I'm going to show you my differences if I'm going to make a bucktail for a walleye. So we're going to get started in the vise is a 316 downs walleye head. Uh, with a one aught owner 5318 light wired uh, hook, and we're going to start with um, 140 denier flat wax nylon thread, and it's going to be fluorescent orange in color. So the, you already see a difference, and that's a different color and a different size, which is the 140, and that's simply because. Uh, the, the way I'm going to use the material, uh, I'm going to use three different colors, and I don't want a lot of buildup, which I would get maybe a little too much with the two ten denier, so that's why I dropped. But the 140 is still strong. Um, the other difference, like um, when it comes to walleye patterns, you'll see guys use glittery heads. For me, I'm only going to use three different color heads. It's either going to be black with bright colors. Um, a fluorescent orange or a chartreuse. That's it because most of them are either going to be dark bait fish or I'm going to have a dark head and I'm going to use um, perch pattern colors, which that's what we're going to tie today. We're going to do a perch pattern. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some yellow bucktail and I have some pre cut here to save some time. Let's take a little bunch out here instead of tying it all in at one time. Then we're going to see. The distance will be about the same, about a hook shank and a half uh, is about the distance you want your bucktail to be behind. Take the yellow. I'm going to work that around. Tie in some securing wraps. And I could see that I see I need some more on the bottom. You could see where that's didn't get all the way around so I'm going to take a little more and once you get your first little bit of bucktail tied in and you're happy with the distance then it's simply repetition you're just going to measure off what you already have tied in that's when it goes quick Yeah, we have our body color tied in. Now I'm going to add some flash. In this case, I'm going to add a copper and a green, uh, a green pearl. And the copper looks orangey. That's why I'm using the copper. And you're going to notice too on my walleye patterns the way I do them. I typically use a lot more flash than I, I use on uh, a regular bucktail that I'm going to use for bass. Um, again, though, you can use the beauty of, of, a, of a bucktail jig is multiple, multiple species on one particular pattern. But if, like, uh, I told you when I when I'm making something specific for walleye, I use a lot more flash than what I normally would, and I typically work with brighter colors. So take the next couple strands. 
now you see why I used the 140 denier because of all this stuff here. We got two more colors of bucktail to go yet. Careful not to cut the bucktail. Now we're going to add our top color, which since we're going to do a perch pattern, we're going to add some Kelly green. And now we don't want a lot. We just want a little bit. Just a little bit to, as an accent color. Couple securing ramps. Pull out a short one. And finally, we're going to do our bottom color, which will be orange. And this is going to be the least amount of bucktail. I'm going to use a little bit. Trim it up. And again, there's no right or wrong. Um, dream up any color you want, any kind of different combinations. I know guys did are really sold on pink. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to finish off our collar here. Pull out some loose hairs, which you get when I... I typically get a little... Uh, more than normal when I'm working with three or four different colors. In this case, three. My walleye patterns are normally multicolored. Um, like with my smallmouth bass colors, I typically layer rather than using separate colors. And if I do use separate colors, it's normally just two. Now our collar is finished. We're going to whip finish it. Trim it off. And before I put head cement on, I'm going to do something neat here. Uh, since that's the way it, uh, I got to get rid of some of this light so you can see the colors. I apologize for that. Now you see we have this orange, green, yellow bucktail, but it's pretty bland. So what I'm going to do take it out make sure the short hairs are out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sharpie and I'm gonna put it on a piece of paper and I'm gonna take just a regular old bank envelope and I'm just using the bank envelope to space I'm gonna put some stripes on here with the sharpie and let me see here if I can angle the camera down to show you what I'm doing here. And we'll start right here, I guess. And just tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. Or dab, however you want to do it.
and now we have that. Flip it around and work off of uh, the marks you see. And there you have it. This is a simple perch pattern, bucktail. Uh, put a little bit of stripes on it. You could put less on if you'd like. Uh, the beauty of this is you could do what you want. Now all I got to do is put some head cement on there and that's finished. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.